Is that true when they say they give out more tickets at the end of the month because they're trying to make the quota? Absolutely true. We don't call it a quota, though. We changed it. We call it productivity goals. Oh, is that what it is? Oh, no, nice. we can't use the word. What's the dumbest quota. thing you ever wrote a ticket for? We just like this is such bullshit. When I first became a, a cop, you know, you, you you really want to do the right thing. Uh -huh. You really think you you know you can enforce everything, traffic laws, penal law. There used to be a summons, wheels not to curb. So if your wheels didn't face the curb with your parked car, you can get a summons for that. Uh -huh. And I used to, they wanted our productivity, productivity goals were 20 or 25 a month. I would actually go down a whole block and write 25 wheels not to curb just to be done. Just to get it out of the way? Just to get done. So people, and, and they took, they actually took it out because it caused a lot of problems. And there was another, um, that's like that Al Capone shit, how they finally ended up getting him tax evasion yep. instead yeah. of murder. And then yeah. al another one was um, uh, the vehicle is, is over 12 inches from the curb. Mm -hmm. And they actually took both of these summonses out, and you know, the cops could no longer uh, be allowed to write them because it would cause trouble. The people would right. come out and can't believe it, and then it would escalate. It would always, And they, they look at it. It would spiral and escalate into something it shouldn't. Let's take these out of there because they are, after all, they are really stupid. And we see that it's, it, some cops are forced to make an arrest stemming from a stupid summons. The people right. would come out or they'd come, well, are you kidding me, officer? Right. Oh, your, your tires were not facing the curb. But no one tells you that when you're new. Right. Y you learn. You really learn. But you had to admit when you're walking down the street, you know you're kind of like... Oh, I know. I, were you, you know, laughing? Did you go back to the like the... Police house and you start know cracking up. Well, no, I'm done for the day. No, well, I'm I'm done. Then you you know I'm I'm done. I'm you know it says on the card that I could do that. It says uh -huh. right there. Take me. You take your nightstick out, and you know that the the car is over 12 inches from the the curb, and you just or the wheels are pointing out. You do the boss hog shit, putting down the fake fire hydrant. <laughs> oh, and there is that's two hundred bucks right there. <laughs> yeah, gee, gee, gee. <laughs> you you. you the, pl the police administration will always tell you there's not a quota, but uh -huh. they're full of it. Because if a cop is working Monday through Friday with weekends off, uh -huh. somehow that cop always seems to make his quota, his productivity goals. Because he has weekends off, and he doesn't uh -huh. want to lose that. Right. So whatever the police department is saying, you you have to do this. This is what we want. Some cops resist it, but they end up getting the, sh the shitty details and the shitty uh, uh, days off. And th that's what happens. The animosity stems from that um, along, along the police department because some guys, we call it prostitute yourself for, right. for a Saturday and Sunday off.